De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. It is said that a wise person does not set out on a journey using another person's donkey because whenever that person likes, he's going to collect his donkey from you. It's not a small something. We are hearing that there was a very serious tension in the palace of the Oni of Ife over the weekends as um, uh, uh, Queen Naomi's sister, Simi, uh, uh, returned fire for fire to Oletik for overstepping her bounds as she allegedly sent spies after Olori, Naomi, and Tadini Kawo, that Oni of Ife was so furious. What happened? You know that um, about, was it Friday or Thursday as we heard, they said um, she had said um, um, KBSC should divorce her, that is only tick if uh, KBSC will not let her stay in the palace, that under no circumstances that will she ever move out of the palace and go and stay anywhere else than where KBSC stayed. I mean, KBSC is staying, that it was never her bargain to get married and stay away from her husband. She loves her husband. She wants to be with her husband, that there's nothing anybody can do to change that, that she would be with her husband. That is the only of effect. Now, when she said that, when she said that, they said KBSC decided and called elders and council that, okay, they should prepare everything that it takes to send a woman packing, as in to divorce a woman. So elders, some of them were begging, some of them were, uh, 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 some people ran and started talking to um, Oletik, and, you know, some elders were saying, okay, KBSC is right, if she doesn't want to stay, she should go. And then when KBSC, when um, Oletik's family saw the route that they were going, uh, they said Oletik family intervened and started begging and begging immediately because when Oletik was crying, Oletik had been crying thinking that KBSC would change his mind, thinking that he would be able to, you know, uh, cajole KBSC into allowing her to stay in the palace. Meanwhile, the only of it is very well aware that if KBSC stays, if Oletik stays in that palace, they are going to have problems with Olori Naomi and it will be all back to back again because you can't keep doing the same thing over and over and expect to have a different result. Yes, Nami's place is far, like it's um, the royal manor, it's out of the palace, like it's on its own there, but Oletik would always look for a way for them to have a problem. Now, um, you do know that Nami is living in the royal manor, and the royal manor, the space that leads to the royal manor, the road is very open. Anybody who is going there, people will see, and those who are coming out of that place, people will see. And that was what... Um, uh, Sorry, I have to attend to something. So, you know that um, that um, opening uh, where Queen Naomi stays in the Royal Manor, when somebody is coming, coming, they are seeing the person. If somebody is going, they are seeing the person. In fact, uh, there was, in fact, I, I really wish that uh, Nami can be staying in that place because that place, uh, it's difficult for the wife to access that place because if you're going there, they must see you. There's no way they won't see that you're entering that place. So, um, um, uh, she knows that you know because she's of course very pompous and all of that she would not want people to see her trying to go that way and all of that so what she did was she sent um somebody to watch to stay there and watch and see when nami will be coming out of that place so that she can run and meet nami on the road as in maybe halfway when nami has entered the main building uh, i mean um to talk to nami so um this uh, lady has been there was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But from where Simi was, they said Simi saw that that lady was always there. The lady has always been there. Now, Simi went out, um, um, entered uh, uh, the mansion, that's the Uni Palace, and I uh, came back. This, the royal, the, uh, royal manor is inside the palace, so, but you know, the palace is very big. So, Simi realized that that girl was actually spying on Olori Nami. Simi just went to go and attack the girl. That what is the girl standing there? They said uh, Simi was upstairs and Simi was watching that girl from the mirror, I mean from the um, um, window. And Simi saw that that girl has been staying there and making calls and all of that. So, Simi went to go and meet that girl. That what is she doing? Who kept her there? 
What is she doing? But you know, it's a small girl. The girl got scared when she uh, see me open eyes for the girl. And the girl said it was only tick that asked her to stay so that when auntie, the girl said, Auntie Naomi, when Auntie Naomi wants to come out, that um, so I would tell her so that she see me got really mad, as we are hearing. Allegedly, that see me got mad that you guys, you will never rest. Why are you spying on my sister and all of that? And you know that. Some people are coming out now to say, ah, see me should not do that again, or they shouldn't start again. The thing is that they have, say, when a snake has bitten you before, if you see a rope, you will run away, right? The thing is that nobody can say Simi does not have a right to have acted the way she acted. Who knows if they were spying on Nami so that Nami will come out so they will send people after her. Who knows what the intention is? Simi was so angry. Simi drove that girl out of that place, went straight to go and meet Oletik. Warned Oletik never, ever to spy on the sister again. That this nonsense has got to stop and all of that. And that it is enough. And that is the reason why the don't want you to stay here. And that was the thing that really pissed Oletik off because Simi said that is the reason why they do not want you to stay here. Now, that thing that Simi said really said peace Oletik, like pissed her off. Like she happens to be the one who gave birth to the twins for the only of effect. She should have the best place. She should she, she should get the best out of the only of Ife. If she cannot imagine that Simi, of all people, a small girl will come and tell her that is why they don't want you to stay here. She was very upset and she started raving. And Simi and, and her, they raved, they ranted that it was something else. Then Olori Nami now called Simi to come back to the royal manor. Um, 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 uh, Simina went back um, to the royal manor and uh, Olori Nami now told Kabiesi what um, uh, Oletik did, how that small girl was spying on her and all of that. They said um, Oni of Ife was so furious at Oletik and told Oletik that that is the reason why no matter come rain comes on, you will never stay here because I know very well that none of you will rest. You will never rest until you see Naomi down. And I am not about to allow you do your will and do what you want to do to Olori me because I know that you people would never rest. Like, you can never, ever, ever rest until this lady is down. And I am not going to be blindfolded by what you say or by all the people who are who think they have a right to make decision for me, I will not be bullied by them. You would never ever stay in this palace. And they say that was how Oletik fell down and started crying and crying and crying and crying. Oletik said that she, I mean, Oni of Ife now said that she should take her out. Welcome back to my channel. It's Uga Adela Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy jays from the sauce. And still on the rails. How are you guys doing? Happy new week to you. I bless you. I thank you. May God bless you. Bless your family. Bless you with longevity. May your days be long on earth. May you find the peace that you have always wanted in your life. Do not forget these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media. I'm going to bring you more updates to is not the small thing that is happening in the palace of Oni of Ife. Bye-bye.